All right, welcome back to TCC. Welcome to a review I've been looking forward to for quite a while now. So just a tiny little bit of background on this one. This is actually the figure that kind of got me into this whole Moffax hush line. Cause uh, like I, I had gotten into the hush, or the hush, I had gotten into Moffax stuff earlier this year. Like I've only been collecting Moffax since like March of this year, honestly. It's always been one of those uh, brands that I kind of like admired from afar, but I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm happy with my Hasbro, my McFarlane, and whatever stuff. And it's like, those are cool, but I don't really feel like dropping that much on them. But god damn, those look good. Um, but this, this was like, because I'd seen the Batman Hush figures, like obviously for a couple of years now, but anytime I'd even thought about getting them or looking into them, like, I am not paying $300 for a Catwoman, I'm not paying 250 bucks for a Batman, and all this stuff. Um, but I seen this Poison Ivy, I'm like, ooh, I might actually jump on that, and then I'll just work around it with, you know, Mezco, or or maybe somebody will come out with, uh, like, a nice 112th Batman figure. Because I'm, I'm long done collecting McFarlane stuff, besides, um, you know, like, a handful of the, the mega figs that kind of go with anything. But yeah, this was the one that I was like, ooh, 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 I want to get that. And then once they started doing, um, like, reissues of... Superman and Batman and Catwoman, all the, the most expensive ones. I was like, oh, well, you know what? Well, here we go. I guess I'm going to get like a nice Jim Lee Batman, you know, I guess just Batman hush right now, but just Batman, you know, shelf display. That's going to be great. And I was really looking forward to Poison Ivy because for whatever reason, there's never really been like a really good or like outstanding 112 Poison Ivy figure. Like there's, there's been like some kind of decent ones like the only one that really stands out in my mind that was actually like i don't even want to say like exceptional but like really seemed like it was worth having was the um uh the uh the dc what was it the bombshell editions because I, I had a couple of those i had like the harley quinn and the the bat girl and all that. And those were cool but like there's not just been like a just a standard basic like just comic book poison ivy that i that i looked at that i was like ooh, i need that like in 112 scale that that you know like there's obviously been some good like sideshow and, and and statues and stuff like that but i don't collect that i don't collect 12 inch 112 is like my preferred scale i want everything to kind of you know mesh together same scale i, I just i like consistency um but yeah so the moffax hush poison ivy finally came out i got this from uh not hobby link I think she was sold out on Hobby Link. I got this from Plaza Japan, which is like my kind of like my backup when like Hobby Link <laughs> sells out of pre-orders or or I, I miss the first wave of of in stock on Hobby Link. I always jump over to Plaza Japan. They normally have it. I'll put a link in the description for that. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I'm not gonna waste too much time. You saw the box. It's your standard Moffax Hush Batman box art. It looks great. So let's just actually get into the figure and uh see what we got going on here okay so figures out of the box uh, i'm taking a look at it fiddling with it like i normally do before i you know hit record again i really like it uh, a couple of small nitpicks i guess um maybe in terms of like articulation and then some in terms of design but all in all this is this is a damn good figure like just aesthetically everything i mean we all, once again you know moffax knocks it out of the park like it's i i can't think of any moffax figures i haven't really thoroughly um not even thoroughly just really really liked besides the uh the batman the batman one the the pattinson batman it's kind of nah, it's kind of a mediocre figure but this this is fantastic like this this is right up there with all the other hush batman figures so far like no complaints there um i mean really most of my complaints is going to be say for like the accessories section here in a sec but just first impressions like yeah i mean she looks fantastic like not not a paint app out of place really from what i can see maybe a couple little small smudges here and there um damn good looking figure damn good looking poison ivy like i i'm definitely as of right this second just just with this figure as it is like very very happy that i own this like this this is gonna go great with all the rest that i have looks fantastic um, get like a close-up of the face here yeah i mean she looks great like moffax they've they've really nailed their like comic book female faces 
if this would focus. There we go. Well, you can just see like the detail and the eyes, the eyelashes, the makeup, everything. It, it looks fantastic. There's even, it looks like there's even like a subtle, like orange wash to the hair, everything. Like it, it, it looks great. It, it really does. Um, I guess like a minor gripe. Um, and also sorry if I'm a little sniffly today. It's kind of cold and, and crappy out, but you know, whatever. Um, I guess like my only real gripe like aesthetic wise is like, I, I, I feel like the shade of green and I'll put a picture up from, from the actual comic because Batman Hush is one of like the, the handful of comics that I've, I've actually read recently. Um, I don't really read too many comics anymore. Uh, especially don't really read modern comics, but I do go back and like, I'll, you know, I'll pick up like a graphic novel here or there. And I did, I did actually just read Hush, um, a few months ago when I started collecting the, the Hush figures. Cause like, oh, you know, I should kind of want to brush up on, uh, on, uh, you know, what the story and the characters and all, just so I can kind of get an idea of maybe what's coming next and I know maybe what they're working on or, or whatever. I feel like the green, like her, like her shade of green on her body is like, it's like kind of off from how it looks in the comics, which it's not a big deal, honestly. I just feel like this is this is definitely more of like, a, like how would, how would you even describe it? Like it's, I don't want to say animated series because she wasn't green. Well, she was green later on, but like in like the original like '93 animated series, like she was uh, just regular white broad. But um, it, it definitely feels more animated series ish in terms of the the, the green. I think it, I think she was like a little bit darker in the comic, but. It's fine. It's not that big a deal. Um, I would definitely say, uh, as far as like her chest, definitely been downsized. Um, I know it's not completely comic accurate. Like she definitely had, you know, a larger chest. There was like some side boobage going on. But you know, I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure who makes these decisions. Um, Cause Momfax has definitely made some like stellar, like really, I don't want to say like sexy because it's kind of weird saying sexy to an action figure but you know what i mean like <clears throat> some of their female figures look like like straight out of like the comics especially the jim lee stuff this has definitely been toned down um went from like what were they like a d to a b um the butt's kind of flat but i mean it's it's <laughs> but it's really not bad honestly you know very rarely would ever have a figure facing this way on your shelf anyway so it's not really something you're gonna notice but yeah, I mean, in terms of like her her body proportions, her measurements, definitely been downgraded a little bit. <clears throat> um, and then yeah, a couple other, not not even really gripes, but just more like a, uh, like why didn't they's or whatever. I'll save that for the accessories. One thing I do notice is that it seems like this arm, the joint bit here is sticking out a little bit more oh no never mind okay it was just the way it was turned i was gonna say maybe i think this bit might be it is still slightly kind of going off that way versus this one but again really not that big a deal but yeah again like as far as the detail on the paint i don't see anything that's really messy maybe this bit on the shoe here but it also looks like it's there on the other shoe so yeah i mean i never really gotten a moff x figure with like a ton of paint defects like maybe just like a a splash here or there or something that that's out of place but yeah she looks fantastic so <clears throat> as far as that goes no real complaints so we'll move over to the uh accessory section here all right accessories so this is where i can get into a little bit of gripage here um pretty sparse honestly um do you like vines because i mean if you like vines then there's definitely a lot to get excited for here but if you don't really care, not a whole ton to really write home about. And what really sucks is I don't I don't know if this was just a, a Plaza Japan thing. So I know Plaza Japan it tends to run like a tiny bit more than other sides, especially Hobby Link. But I paid more for this figure than I did for the uh, the Black Suit Batman reissue. And she comes with way, way less than he did. I mean, he comes with a whole gargoyle stand and everything. Like, this literally just uh, an open and closed briefcase, a little stack of money with a specific hand to hold it, crap ton of vines, um, and then she's got her hands and one extra head. Look at the head real quick. I mean, it, it looks good. I mean, it's 
it's got like a like a slight smirk to it it's it's about the same as the other one everything looks nice it's got that same wash to it and everything and then she does have her extra set of hands and i, I thought this one was a middle finger <laughs> at first um i thought that that would actually be kind of funny but no oops oh i dropped it not 100 sure what this hand is supposed to go to like what she's doing there and then she's got like a little like rock on hand and then your standard fists and then splayed hands. So even kind of lacking when it comes to hand accessories too. Um, I mean, unless you want to count this one that's specifically there just to hold this money stack. And then I, I, I wasn't sure what they were doing with the briefcase. I guess it was probably just to keep it in more of a compact profile as it is. They gave you two separate ones. So they're like, oh, well, no, this actually comes with a lot because you get two separate briefcases but it's like i've seen plenty of companies <laughs> make briefcases that just open um this is I, I wasn't expecting them to have two like that and eh, that is what it is and then yeah the vines um and that actually ties into some accessories that come with another figure that we'll get to in a sec but i think what i'll do is i'll, I'll hit the pause real quick and i'll see if i can get these all on her see how much of a pain that is and how they look and then we'll just continue from there. All right, so we got the vines on and then I figured I would, you know, throw the briefcase in her hand and then I would do the money hand thing. And then I noticed in the actual hand, there's like a little divot that matches like a little cutout in the dollar bills. So hang on. Yeah, so it rests in there pretty nice. It stays, um, it's not coming out or going anywhere. Uh, as far as like the vines go, like they look nice. Um, Honestly, I feel like they kind of look like cake frosting, <laughs> like if anything, if that makes any sense, like, you know, like a cake decoration. Like, they look good uh, from the front, but then, oops, if you turn around, you can see, like, they have, like, these gaps where they kind of, like, go over the, uh, the limbs there. So it's like, uh, I mean, I've seen them do stuff like it before where they'll give you, like, an alternate set of legs or whatever it's like maybe if they had just since it was so sparse on accessories maybe like an extra set of arms and legs with like these kind of sculpted on because as they are like they they kind of not, not really like get in the way but like when you're trying to like articulate they slide all over or they fall off or fall down or you know whatever it's like like they they look okay like a I mean, as it is, like, if you can get it into a spot where, like, you're happy with, like, this this looks good. Like, that, it, it looks fine like that. The little thing around the neck, the little leaf necklace and everything. It, it looks okay. Um, and then one of the other things I thought, because, like, this is kind of like my, my gripe section is the accessory section. Because it, it just, it comes with so little. Um, another thing that would have been cool is maybe if she had some bare feet that you could swap out for the shoes. Because, you know, Poison Ivy's usually barefoot or she's wearing like boots or you know like long boots or she's got stockings on that would have been nice maybe like some stocking legs or or hell even like some soft goods stocking something um and then another thing is like while these two head sculpts are phenomenal they, they look fantastic like where's like the angry face <laughs> where's like the the action face or or a yelling face or a talking face or anything like this is just you have slight smirk and then even slighter smirk like that's that's really it like every other mafex female figure so far has come with like an action phase so it's like that's that's kind of a missed opportunity i mean health storm came with three or four heads gene gray comes with with a bunch of different heads like all they all come with like at least three like a minimum of three and one of them's always an action face and mafex is really good at like their female comic book figure action faces so it's like Another huge missed opportunity here. I mean, but as far as it goes, like, my, I guess my only real hang up on it is the cost to what you're getting in terms, like, in the package, in terms of that. Like, it's it's a good figure. It's a really good Mob FX figure, but it's like, I just, I'm kind of just left wanting more and just kind of sitting here going like, well, why didn't they, why didn't they do this? Or why did they add that? Or why didn't, you know, why doesn't she come with like some different feet or, or different legs or why did like why did they have to do the the things i mean because when i first saw this you never saw her without these on i thought these were sculpted on as it is and i was like yeah you know that looks good but maybe it'd be cool to have an option where they didn't have those or vice versa or whatever um it's good though like it's fine totally fine 
it's one of those where it's like this is probably gonna hang around a bit and go on sale soon so i probably would wait if you're kind of hung up on the price versus what you're getting in the package deal um but as it is like like i keep saying i do really like it it is gonna look nice and you know if i didn't have a a youtube channel where like i review newer things i probably wouldn't have bothered picking this up so soon i probably would have waited for for a sale but that's that's fine uh, so anyways rambling aside we'll move over into some comparisons and then we'll we'll wrap it all up with a nice neat bow for christmas all right almost jumped the gun a bit but as per tradition here she is with the mezco hellboy doesn't want to stand all of a sudden and mezco constantine which uh yeah i mean looks pretty good obviously she's gonna go more with constantine than than hellboy but either way i mean who cares it's yourself so moving on all right so these are the two i'm most excited for so obviously we're gonna put her with catwoman and harley quinn from the same wave here do have Catwoman with the, the headpiece to the staff of Ra because she didn't come with any cool loot accessories but now I could probably give her that briefcase or you know got stuff laying around but this this is yeah I was definitely pretty excited about this I mean it's like you can't really have Poison Ivy without Catwoman and Harley Quinn especially Harley Quinn so yeah I mean they obviously look fantastic together so wasn't really expecting anything different so moving on from that all right and then well real quick since I have them in my hand. Here is the Moffax Black Suit Batman reissue. And then I completely forgot, even though I mentioned it in the video and I have it written down in my notes. Here is the Moffax Superman reissue, who also comes with accessories specifically for Poison Ivy. Oh my God, if he would stand up. And he comes with fine accessories. Obviously, you know, one of the big parts of the beginning of the storyline there is that Poison Ivy is mind controlling Superman to, you know, do her bidding and whatnot. So Superman himself did come with, I mean, he comes with a, uh, the kryptonite ring too, which kind of sucks because it's the blue <laughs> Batman version. Um, and all I have is the black Batman version, but I mean, honestly, that's just a quick paint job and, and whatever, but yeah, that's, that's one thing that I've really grown to kind of dislike about Moffex collecting is like, I mean, if you're not all in on a line and you only want specific ones, a lot of the times, like, like say like, oh, I, I only want like, uh, uh, what, what was it? What was a good example? Like the Christian Bale Batman, like some of them come with unmasked heads, some of them don't. Uh, and then a bunch of other ones, like, like you'll, there'll be like one figure that you want, but then you need to buy a whole separate figure to like finish like their accessories to like get everything that's supposed to come with that figure anyways. Not saying like, like you need to get whatever with the Superman because he comes with the Poison Ivy stuff, but like it's also, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess they kind of figure it's like, well, if you're buying the Superman, you're gonna be buying Batman anyways. But it's like, well, maybe I already have a Batman that I'm happy with, but now that I have the Superman, he's got the Kryptonite ring, but my Batman doesn't have a Kryptonite ring, so fuck, now I gotta get the Batman. To, you know, it's like, I really don't like how Moff X does that. It's smart, but it's also kind of shady. I don't really appreciate it, but that just kind of is what it is. Um, but what the cool thing is, like, um, if you own the Superman, so like, if you own the Superman and you have this Poison Ivy, you can take these accessories and put them on anybody honestly like if you really wanted to like it's not it doesn't have to be for superman which is cool um but you know it's, it's fine they're they're a completely different shade of green than the ones that poison ivy has but again that's minor little nitpick but i mean uh, all in all they look fantastic together i had no doubts that they would so wouldn't or whatever so moving on all right so here's kind of a cool one i'm definitely gonna have to adjust the camera but the only McFarlane figures that I've been bothering to pick up have been the Mega Figs. And of course, I don't want to stay up, but here she is with Killer Croc. I mean, two different kind of art style, you know, designs, but they, it works. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Like, Killer Croc's like the big, creepy crocodile man. It's like, the only thing that kind of clashes with him. He's a little bit more realistic and shaded, and she's definitely more animated and flat. You know, if you can call it that, whatever. But it still works. It's still Batman. It still looks cool. So the McFarlane Mega Figure work. Killer Croc, huge, giant, massive, crazy crocodile man. 
looks great. All right, and then here we can do the Mezco Two-Face, who I've actually customized a little bit. As you can see, I did a wash on the face and added the, uh, the gray hair. And then just for the hell of it, I do have a TB League Vampirella, who again, does not want to stand up. I'm not honestly a fan of the TB League stuff. Like I, I just figured I'd give it a shot because I got a good deal on it. And I hate posing it. I hate trying to get them to stand. Like they, it just doesn't feel right in my hands. It's all squishy and stuff, but it does work. I mean, it is kind of in the same vein there. Like she, she looks good with DC figures, basically, especially as like a background character. Very small though. So um, but yeah, that looks cool. All right, so here's kind of a fun one. I'm trying to pick out more figures that are in the kind of the animated style. Oop. There she is with the Sentinel into the Spider-Verse Miles. And right now, the only one that I have, the Mofex into the Spider-Verse Peter B. And those look cool together. I mean, they, they definitely mesh like art style wise, so. Completely different like art styles whenever, but here she is with the Lim Toys Joker and the Mofex 3.0 Batman. I mean, just for the hell of it, why not? Just like showing those off, honestly, so. All right, and then just because I love how well these mesh with like the comic book Mofex figures, I do have the Legends What If MCU stuff. <laughs> of course put them on and all their faces are blocked but I mean these these work so well it's my customized nebula and then the zombie hunter spider-man if I can squeeze them in there these these go so well together though honestly the uh the what if figures of Malfix comic book stuff like they fit right in they look great like, especially these two honestly those two look great together but yeah I mean you can mesh those right in Looks fantastic. Can't see Doctor Strange's face, but that's okay. I'm about to pick him back up anyways. All right, and just because, here she is with the Bandai model kit clone trooper and my custom Captain Fordo. Yeah, that works, I guess. All right, and then just because, Marvel Legends Tiger and then my custom Mystique. That was the, uh, the VHS one that I kind of did some work too. Unfortunately, it looks like the paint on her torso has turned a little bit yellow, which kind of sucks. I'll have to touch that up. But yeah, I mean, she'll, she'd go great with, with X-Men stuff. Speaking of, actually. Yeah, not sure I made it this far without doing any X-Men, but she yeah, says with the Moff X Jean Grey, and then I guess we'll do the Hasbro Dazzler, just because she's kind of got an animated look to her. And yeah, I mean, those look cool together too. Definitely works. All right, and then I, I can keep doing this all day, but there is such a thing as wanting people to actually watch your video, so I don't have like an hour long video of nothing but just comparisons. So we'll wrap this up with uh, Man Cake, I forgot his name for a second, and Captain Jack Smeagol. Those are normally my show closing figures there. So yeah, I mean, she looks good with all sorts of stuff. Like I said, I have so many more things that I could pull out, but as of right now, we'll, we'll leave it at that and we'll just, we'll wrap this all up. All right, so at the end of the day, all things considered, everything put together, what do I personally think? I really like it. I don't really have any major complaints. It's mostly just, like I said earlier, just kind of little gripes and quibbles and little things, kind of like slight confusion. And my main issue with it is like just the lack of accessories. Like I said, unless unless you really like vines and you want to count vines as accessories, there's not a lot to write home about in that sense, which which really kind of sucks. Um, but other than that, like it's it's your standard Moffex figure. Like you know what you're getting into. You know it's going to be quality. You know it's going to look good. It's going to look great up on the shelf. Um, honestly, like I did kind of mention it earlier, as far as this one specifically goes, unless there's like a huge rush of like Poison Ivy fans and all of a sudden this just sells out everywhere, which I don't see happening, um, you can probably just wait for a sale on this one, honestly, wait for it to drop. 
10, 15, maybe 20 bucks. Wait for it to pop up on Amazon and then go on sale on Amazon. Then you get free two day shipping, whatever you got to do. I, I would say just don't be in any real rush to go out and grab it. It'll be around. You'll be able to pick one up probably much cheaper than I did. I have impulse control problems and I also have a YouTube channel. <laughs> like, moderately, partially semi-successful YouTube channel that, that, you know, just I like to make videos as a hobby for. So that's why I try and keep up on, on some things. I like to pick up the stuff that I'm actually interested in. So I paid full retail. You don't have to. If you're on the fence about it, you're not going to miss much if you wait a little bit. Um, or if you have like a nice custom that you're already happy with. Eh, this one's not really going to change your mind unless you're lucky. You're like, ooh, actually, no, that is changing my mind. I really, really want that. It's, it's a good, really, really good figure. Like if I had to put a score on it, um, just aesthetic and, and character wise alone, I'd probably say like a solid 7.58 out of 10. It's a good, really good figure, above average, very good. Um, overall package, I'd probably hover around like a seven just because of the lack of accessories, but that doesn't mean I don't like it. That doesn't mean it's not good. It's still incredible. It's still a great, great, great figure. Um, just like you think, just don't rush out and, and feel like you need to get it right now. Like you, you can just, if you can hold off six months or so, whatever, I'm sure you'll be able to get one for like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, no problem. Um, but yeah, anyways, that is it. It's been a while since I made a video. Don't really know what's coming up next. I know I have a couple things on pre-order for next year, so I guess we'll see. But as of right now, I'm pretty much caught up on everything that I really wanted, and as far as new things go especially. So that's pretty much how I've just been operating this channel. It's, it's, it's a hobby. I'm not trying to do it as a hustle or a side job. It's like whenever something that I'm really interested in or really passionate about comes along, or if I feel like making like a retrospective or, or whatever, custom video, whatever, whatnot. Like it's, it's, I don't, I don't expect regular weekly, you know, two videos a week or whatever, like I was trying to do before. Can't afford it. I don't have time. I work full time. I, you know, I got a baby on the way, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, that is what it is. So just, uh, look forward to the next one and I will, I will catch you guys later.